So I've been in the business since 1999. So a long mm -hmm. time, unfortunately, I'm going to age myself, but there you go. Um, so um, I've done everything from big banks, small banks, direct lending, um, rent a broker shop, that kind of thing. Um, so the difference between a lot of those is just where you get your business from, um, how the actual process works and the ease of actually doing it. Um, so, you know, your big banks, um, they have some great stuff to offer, um, but you end up with a lot of um, upper management and a lot of red tape that you kind of have to go through and a lot of um, hard and fast rules, whereas we don't have those hard and fast rules. We can kind of make exceptions along the way due to the fact that everybody from the um, you know, the receptionist all the way up to the owners of the company are, are in the grind every day. So it makes it nice where you don't have to, um, you know, there's no hard and fast rules. So, uh, and the great thing about mortgage right, ultimately opposed to like your broker, where you're really running your own shop in your broker world, but you also have to deal with the, you know, the audits and compliance and, you know, um, how do you even set up a phone system, <laughs> which is sounds silly, but it, it, it's, it's, something you don't think about until you start doing it. Mm -hmm. So the great thing about mortgage right is that you kind of have that both, best of both worlds. You get to run your own shop, you get to make your own decisions, but you don't have to worry about all those different th levels of running your own shop. We've got departments yeah. that actually can handle all that. So it is sort of like, uh, sort of like that, uh, sort of, a, um, and correct me if I'm summing this up wrong, like one of the benefits of retail is like you know you got you got a storefront you got some computers in a system and one of the benefits of a brokerage is like you can do whatever you want right exactly but a brokerage doesn't have the products they got to go sell each loan they got to put up together the phone systems and a retail branch has more it's more of a franchise fee than a p l it sounds absolutely. like absolutely yes so right so you you know we say it's your shop you run it the way you want to of course within compliance but um mm -hmm. you really do you get to make those decisions you get to you know to dictate what you you know pay your staff what you pay yourself you know that kind of thing you can you can work through all that without and but then you also have an it department so if your computer is you know going kaplooey yeah. then you can actually have a department to actually reach out to you've got you know your compliance your marketing that kind of thing so you have like the best of both worlds is what i always say you know yeah. you get to run your shop the way you want to but you also have the support that's already in place and we've already figured out how to do it so you don't have to figure that part out um what you don't have to figure out you know what can i say on an ad you don't have to figure out what you know, my website's going to have to look like you don't have to figure out that piece of it. You've got all of that. And, you know, right. we always say in the loan aspect of it, you know, if we, we have two questions that we ask, you know, can we make the loan? I mean, will the, will the borrower pay the mortgage payment? Right. And also can we sell the loan? And really and truly those two things are, that's all, you know, that's the answer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ultimately we all want to be here. You know, I don't want to go anyplace else. I want to retire here. That's the plan. And that's ultimately the plan that we have for everybody. Um, a lot of times in the mortgage industry, it's kind of like wherever you can go to get the quick buck, you know, right. um, whereas we've kind of, and that's the reason why we've been in business since 2005 is because we've not super conservative, but take enough risk, but be conservative enough to still be here after all the craziness that goes on in this market, in this industry. Why do y'all do it? When you encounter people in business who are nice to work with, right? Affordably priced, and it feels uh, unreal. You know what I mean? Like surrealism yeah. is no longer like something that doesn't. It's like now surrealism is just like people doing what they say they will. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. like wait, what? So right. why why is that the mortgage right like way? You know, it's funny because like I said, I've done a lot of different things, worked in this industry for a long time, and really everybody is. And I said that that's very cliche to sound, but everybody really is like family. You know, we bring people in, and it's not this big. You know, roll out the red carpets. We're pretty much who we are. Whenever you know. As I always say, we are, right. um, you know, we'll sit around a table and have lunch, you know, during our corporate visits when you come to visit us and, you know, we sit around and we joke and we give each other a hard time and, you know, it's no show. It's no dog, as Chris would say, it's no dog and pony show. And it really isn't. So I feel like because we are small enough, but big enough, you know, like kind of small enough to still be close knit and, when you could, you know, if you come on to mortgage, right, you can call anybody in the company and ask a question. There's nobody that's off limits, if that makes sense. And, um, and that's what really makes it nice. And they listen. And that's, I think the biggest thing is they listen to your ideas. They listen to your suggestions. Um, kind of a good example is 
we had a way that we did it, um, you know, a process through we're working through loans before COVID. And then when the industry just exploded, we we're like, oh, wait, wait a second. You know, our turn times are, are ugly. You know, we, we went from 24 hours to, you know, a lot longer. So we're like, OK, let's think about this. So we came to, you know, upper management or whatever or all, everybody underwriting etc and was like let's do it this way so then we got our turn times back down if it's a credit company that you know is we feel like there's a better one out there we go to tanner which is one of the uh, principals and says you know hey what, what can you look into this for me and he is more than willing to pick up the phone and start investigating and i think that's really the reason why it goes as well as it does and everybody you know I me mean, of course we're like you know family if you squabble every once in a while but for the most part everybody's willing to listen to everybody and take their suggestions and even new branches coming on board if they've got a better way to do it we're all open to taking suggestions and figuring it out if it makes sense we'll go that direction um and i think the reason why we've chosen to do this um to to do the branch branch expansion you know like to to to, to grow via the branches um, is it just makes sense. You know, we're only as good as our next loan. You know, I mean, we're only as good as our loan officers. And so if we can take, you know, independent thinking, people that can actually run a PL and that kind of thing and let them do what they do best, it just is, is good, good for the whole company. Yeah. And there's also like a, it seems like a, something Mike was saying is just like, yeah, well, you know, I, I do a better job if I go home and like watch my kids baseball game without looking over my shoulder. <laughs> that life work balance. And that's something that's really important. I mean, Chris, which is one of the owners, he's my direct boss, but um, you know, I'm going to, he's not happy about it, obviously, but he was, more, I mean, what, he was happy, but um, I'm going to Japan with one of my sons um, for two weeks. You know what I mean? And he's, you know, he's scared to death that I'm going to be gone for two weeks, but he would never tell me no, because it's so important. And yeah. you know, I get off and, and go to my kids, you know, football game or whatever. And that's really, it's the, it's the beauty of the mortgage industry, um, even yeah. though it can kind of be like a, a bad drug that we come back to. Um, mm -hmm. The beauty of the industry, but it's also, um, it depends on who you work with too because you don't get that in the big banks and you don't get right. that and really kind of don't get that if you're running your own shop independently like a broker shop due to the fact that you are the company you know what i mean whereas you have support right. and you have people that can help you do things and we have you know corporate processing if you lose your processor so there's a lot of different things that there's just a ton of support and like i said begin to begin with i mean you can call anybody in the company and they will pick up the phone on their cell phone on a saturday you know whatever the case may be and they'll pick right. up the phone and help you which is really nice so what are some other like pluses and minuses or, or i mean pros and cons or different sort of routes you can take as a mortgage lender like what or is that pretty much it is it pretty so, much I mean, really until you're looking at your big banks you know your smaller banks um credit unions um you know you're like us the you know, direct lenders and then you've got your broker shop and yeah. so um you know, most of the time on a lot of the bigger companies, and that's why I say we're, we're big enough, you know, to be able to make an impact and to be able to do what we need to do, but we're small enough to still be able to be, you know, close knit and be able to make changes. So really the benefit, uh, another benefit is, is just the fact that, um, you know, if we need a new product, we go and we go get it. You know what I mean? It's not like we have to go through, you know, 15 levels of management to figure it out. So it's pretty much a, it's a very quick process. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's, I mean, really, that's really, really your only big ones. And I hear all the time, you know, with the, like the big uh, direct lenders or the banks or whatever, it's just, it's so much red tape, I guess. And you have, you know, people that are making arbitrary decisions that are making basis points, you know, making money off of your loans that you're doing and they've never even done a loan before, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, why are you making this really stupid, yeah. you know, just to be perfectly honest rule when you've yeah. never even picked up a, a mortgage before. So. Well, you know, the rule is probably like some compliance thing that really has to do with like checking accounts or like business. It is, but the yeah. thing is, is they don't understand it enough to know that it's not necessary. You know what I mean? And right, that's right. And then they're like, even make an adjustment. You got yes. go to go to, you got to find There's a way to do it where it makes sense. You know, we always say that we're owned and operated by LOs. Yes, we are, but we also have, you know, compliance that keeps us in check. But, but the funny, the, you know, our owner or the head of our compliance and HR department, he did mortgages for years. So even he, no, even though he doesn't do them daily now, he still has a little bit of that LO mindset in the back of his head yeah. saying, okay, we need to do this, but what's the most beneficial way and the most compliant way to get it done? Yeah. 
before that, we say before we say no, is there a legal? Yeah, order? before we put this hard and fast rule down, let's think about how it's going to affect the LOs and the branch managers and compliance. You know, and the state mm -hmm. auditors. You know, so it's kind of nice to be able to understand all, um, you know, all views of a mortgage to be or the mortgage industry to be able to before they make these arbitrary rules. For sure. All right. So let's say I'm convinced. Okay. I want the best of both worlds. Gotcha. I'm working for a bank or I'm working for a uh, retail branch. I got 50 loans in my pipeline. Right. Uh, okay. I got a brand new box of business cards. Yeah. I got a box you're stressing me out, but like we're friends. Right. What, what do I do? So, you know, there's, there's many ways. And like you said, it kind of depends on your situation, whether you're big, little, where you're coming from and that kind of thing. So there's different ways. And that's one thing that we kind of just kind of customize it to how you're going to actually trans transition over. But the biggest thing is, is once everybody's kind of made the decision and has decided that, hey, this is a good fit for everybody, let's go ahead and jump. Um, so, you know, ultimately when they make the change, they make the decision, um, they are going to start, you know, kind of, moving things in our direction. Okay. So um, we can actually do um, it's ultimately the borrower's decision, what mortgage company they want to go to. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, who they want to use for their mortgage. Most likely they're going to want to do business with Beth Cannell, not mortgage right. Okay. Right. Um, because they trust me. They've done business with me. They really don't care what my card says, to be perfectly honest. Right. Um, so at that point, when you start, talking about the transition and everything, you just simply let them know, hey, you know, I'm not going to be here at this company when your loan closes. Right. You know, I'm just going to let you know that, you know, I'm going to be transitioning to a new company, blah, 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 blah. This is the reason why I'm doing it, et cetera, and so forth. And then at that point, they can make that decision as to whether they want to stay with the company or they want to apply with the company that you're currently at, or if they want to actually apply with a new company. And then that way they can start transitioning their pipeline because what happens is they're like, okay, I've got this many loans. I need to transition in 30 days. And then if they keep taking applications through that 30 days, then it just keeps extending those 30 days. So, um, you know, we cannot obviously not take um, loans that are currently owned by another bank, um, even though they are the, the uh, branch manager's personal referrals, um, but they actually still do belong to the actual current bank. So we can't take any loans that are currently in the pipeline in another bank, but any new business can be, um, you know, given the option, the borrowers can be given the option to um, come to um, mortgage right instead of applying with the current um, financial institution, but they're the ones that are licensed in that state, depending on what the situation is. So that's really what you want to do is start kind of, that's the first step is because everybody's, you know, of course, worried about their paycheck and they ultimately don't want to continue to put off the tran the transition while they're getting loans closed. So that's kind of how that transition looks. Um, and then once, you know, we kind of set a do, you know, set a, a start date and then we start getting kind of ready for that. We start, you know, building their websites. We start, um, you know, working on their landing pages. Um, we start ordering computers, passwords and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we have a really good licensing department. Everybody's really worried about licensing. Well, for the most part, though, is we have a licensing, a, a licensing department that knows they're amazing. They know everything because, of course, every state is different with their rules and regulations versus brick and mortar or whatever. And then how the actual branch needs to be licensed or whatever. So we have a great department for that. So kind of what happens is the day that they decide that they want to start is they go ahead and um, the license, they end their sponsorship with their current employer. And then our licensing department picks up their current sponsorship. And typically, if we, typically if we can get that done in the same day, um, it usually gets approved the same day. So if they end their sponsorship and we pick up their sponsorship same day, we usually get approved. So they're really ready to start originating at that mm -hmm. point. If there is any delays, like we need branch license or anything like that, then we can kind of take care of that for them. Chris or myself or, or one of the owners can actually um, start originating for them until they get licensed. And then once they get licensed, then we can transfer those, those loans over into their name. And then once they're on board or whatever, though, those loans actually close in their P&L. The day that they start, um, it's, you know, pretty much first day is, hey, get your password set up, you know, business cards and all that jazz. Then the second day, um, I'll do a call with them um, and pretty much just say from start to finish on how to do a loan. Um, and then that way, 
even though they've probably been doing loans forever, they know how to do a loan. Every company's a little bit different. Everybody's encompass is a little bit different. So you might just need a little bit of help hand holding. Sometimes, you know, maybe they've never done disclosures before or whatever. And we literally hand held, you know, hand hold them until they're comfortable with the process. So usually those training calls usually are, you know, anywhere from like three days, a couple hours a day or whatever for, you know, ever. And then typically what happens is, like I said, three to six months, and they are not even that long sometimes. Um, they're usually our best friend calls for everything. And then they kind of start filling out. OK, I know I can need to go to this person if I need to do this. And so then they start calling Tanner for something or they start calling, you know, the manager of the underwriting department. But at first, they usually kind of filter all through us. So what about let's say you got a team you really like at your and, you, and you're at a bank, which probably yes. is a trickier spot. Like, what can you do with that? Yeah. So when we, um, when everybody decides that they're on board and want to move forward, um, we start working on you get applications and background checks for your team. Um, it's really pretty much, it's really simple. Honestly, it's actually kind of more easier for them than it is for the branch manager sometimes. So that makes it almost a little bit easier. Um, so say that they have, um, you know, so they have the branch manager, they've got a processor or a processor slash LOA. They've got several loan officers. They've got, you know, a business, you know, um, manager or business coordinator, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call them. Um, we start kind of doing background checks, getting them all vetted. And then we set start dates and kind of do the same thing with them. We've got a our uh, processing team lead, corporate processing team lead. She trains all of our processors because um, we do things probably a little bit different. Um, I've been to places and I've hired people that of processors that'll do like one piece of the very large puzzle. Um, you know, they'll do title and or something like that. Whereas our processors do all of it. They do everything from start to finish. So um, they're, you know, they ultimately need to be trained because a lot of times you'll call yourself a processor and they've only done like one or two pieces of a very large puzzle. So we train them. It's a week long training on a team's call. Um, um, we also have a, a, a um, intranet called discover right which is amazing um we've been working on that for i guess about three years we started about three years ago but there's everything that you could ever possibly know about products about the investors that we use um about how to's we have just like tons and tons of like lo how to's we'll our usually our goal chase and my my goal is to go through everything on a team's call to kind of show you how to do it and then you're like oh mate she said this but i can't remember this step or whatever and then it's literally a step by step with pictures and everything on discover right off how to do every single step so it's really nice to be able to go back and kind of pull it up but like i always tell well i always tell all the loan officers and the branch managers i'm like i'll go through it as many times as you need to but if you're just wanting hey i need a refresher on this one piece of it those resources are out there for you yeah. is there like uh i think my understanding is that there's like some marketing tools built into that too so like if you want them they're there if you yes. don't it's it's yeah. So we have a CRM, which is like the customer database type thing where you can market to different people in the future, send out anniversary cards, birthday cards, whatever you want to do. So we have that, which is amazing. And I, our marketing um, person manager um, actually wrote it himself. Like he, I don't know how you, I'm not very good computer literate very well, but he wrote it or whatever. And it's really, really good. And the best part is it's free um, and it's, communicates beautifully with Encompass. So it, that's a really nice tool. He provides websites um, for each branch. He provides um, landing pages, which is just pretty much like your application link. Um, and he does like the little apply now buttons that you can have on your email or I can have it on my phone so I can just shoot it over to people and they can complete the application. Um, so there's a lot of different things he has. We have uh, a program called Convergence and it's um, ultimately it's kind of like a slow social media kind of a drip campaign and he does different things on that so you can look at my Facebook page and it's like you won't ever I never touch that part of it like the I mean I post my kids obviously but I never do the mortgage right part but automatically he's putting stuff out yeah. there um, just to make it look like I'm paying yeah. attention and <laughs> doing what I'm supposed to be doing because Absolutely. you know 
I have friends that are like, oh crap, I forgot you even did mortgages. Well, that's my fault because I didn't yeah. know you put it out there. So that makes it a little bit better um, yeah. to be able to do that kind of stuff. So that kind of thing we have on Discover Right on the, our internet, there is a ton of like flyers for like open house flyers and all that kind of stuff. You can customize them however you want to, or you can request him to cust or their, his team to customize them. Um, we can do all kind of, we can do mailing campaigns. But the thing is, it's really good is all that's free of charge. Um, it's all oh, yeah. yeah. So unless you're doing like a huge like mailing and you, of course, will pay for postage and that kind of stuff and print and that kind of thing. But his services are completely free of charge. So it's really nice. All right, cool. So like anything that is part of like the team's salary is like free to the branch. Yes. So, like, like so every loan that you close. Um, that's part of like the PL side. Every loan that you close, you pay $995 for a corporate fee. That covers everything. That covers, um, you know, that marketing piece. It covers underwriting. It covers closing. It covers, you know, audit of uh, compliance and all that kind of stuff. So that's all taken care of there. There's no additional fees for that. So that $995 per, per closed loan covers all of the services that oh, cool. the back office has to offer. Right on. It's not even like a point, it's just a flat rate. Right, exactly. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Awesome confident folks over there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we probably need to up that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, no. Was it uh Ben Phillips? He said, uh, he said, We are we supposed to keep this a secret? It seems I, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's great. Well, so how do you what do you do? How do you leave? What's the that's the other part that I think a lot of people get concerned about is like, how do you do it well? So, you know, I think the best way to do it. Okay. So there's not really ever a great way to leave the company without them usually being, especially if you're a good producer, let's be honest, you know, they're not, they're not going to want you to leave. Right. Um, and, and normally when you give your notice in most financial, you know, situation, financial institution situations, anything to deal with kind of confidentiality and that kind of thing, they pretty much say, you know, adios as soon as you give your notice. Um, but I think the best way to do, especially like, you know, so much, not so much as with your current employer, but with your referral partners, you know, your realtors, your agents, you know, I'm sorry, your realtors, um, your closing attorneys, you know, that kind of thing. You know, the best way is just to be honest and be like, hey, you know, I, I think, you know, we I've gotten a great opportunity and this is going to be so much better for you, for your borrowers, for my, you know, that kind of thing. And, and just sell it that way. And I think for the most part, because realtors and closing attorneys and friends and family, they're doing business with you. They don't really care, you know, what company you're is behind you. Um, and then you can, but you, but they, you know, you can tell them that, you know, mortgage rate is great. Mortgage rate has this to offer their borrowers, which will make their life easier. Great closing times, great rates, you know, that kind of thing. And really just kind of pump it up like that. And, for like I said, for the most part, they're going to trust you because they send their business to you anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so it's usually not a very hard transition because y'all kind of have a great mix. Kind of because y'all have a great mix and access to good rates. Is that something that y'all see? I've heard a few people say like just being able to say, "Hey, look, we get, we can go ahead and like basically underwrite this bad boy instead of doing a pre-approval. So we'll keep you know like you're going to keep the business. I'm going to keep the business." Right. Right. Uh, talk about that a little bit, just like that, how that benefits the rep, even just like the reputation, just like knowing that like whatever problem you got, I, I can, you know, I can work with this subset of, I can be a realtor for this subset now because I have a resource. Right. And that's really, you know, the best business, I mean, the reason that we, that I would never go anyplace else. And the reason why I do love it so much here is because the in-house process is so easy. It's quick. You know, we've got, I think it's, we're 17 days from start to finish on purchases and refinances. Um, so, which is a huge thing. So it's quick, it's easy. Um, you know, we don't have, like I said, multiple layers of management that we have to go through to get extra, you know, if, if something doesn't fit perfectly in the box. So we, it, it's all quick. It's pretty easy to do. We call Tanner if, you know, if something else is, you know, if we need an investor popped in, you know, but then on top of that, we also have, every product you can imagine outside too. So we keep the, you know, the easy, easier stuff, the less risky stuff. Cause like I said, we want to all be here when we retire, you know, yeah. we so we keep that stuff in house, but we also are constantly looking, not myself, but like our lock desk and Tanner, Alan, he's constantly looking for better products, better ways to do what we're currently doing. So like, for example, I 10 loan, um, it's, 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 a, it's a difficult loan. 
but and not a lot of people offer it and there's not a lot of great options but he's constantly looking for the best option available for so we can actually provide that to our realtors and our borrowers right. so i feel like you know if you come here because our in-house products and service and everything is amazing but you can stay here because of the wide array of products and services that we offer um so it's kind of like you know because people come here and they're like you know you're this really small company well, not that small but well you know you're a lot smaller yeah. you can't offer me the marketing and you can't offer me the product um you know variety etc and so forth but we can and that's what our back office and, and a couple of the owners are constantly doing to so make sure that we can actually sell more loans. And so do I want to do, you know, 580 credit scores all day long or 540 credit scores all day long? Heck no. But if I have a realtor that I'm, that he, she sends me all our good stuff to, I'm going to dump, I'm, I'm going to jump on some of those harder loans every once in a while. And we've got those products available to us and the investors that are able to do them and willing to do them that we can, offer everything so we can kind of be that one stop shop. Man, that's what Michael said. He was like, yeah, it looked like my last place was con content to me being a junk lender. And I love lending to people who are challenged, but bad products are taking advantage, not helping. Yeah. And, you know, and that's, it's kind of funny, like when we were in like the 2020, you know, 2020, 2021, when we were just so crazy busy that we couldn't even see straight. Um, you know, we didn't offer some of these products that, you know, are kind of one offs, you know what I mean? But when we slowed down a little bit because of the market, we started offering those. So it's like, you know, somebody call me or you know one of the new branches. Oh, can you offer a Tennessee DPA program? Yeah. Heck no. Now they asked me that, you know, now. Oh, absolutely. We're going to mm -hmm. offer that because, you know, it's you know, you can do 10 loans that are a little bit more streamlined for the one loan that's a little bit more difficult. So in different times, that's another way that we kind of adapt. You know what I mean? Like you just kind of change and adapt. And that's what you have to do in this industry. You cannot be rigid because if you're rigid and you make all these hard and fast rules tomorrow, guess what? It's completely different. You can't do anything different about it. Yeah. You know, what I mean? so that's one reason that like, you know, I had we had a general DPA that would go for all the states that we were licensed in back in 2020. And now we have a DPA program in every state that we actually do business in. Due uh -huh. to the fact. But, you know, like in 2020, no, we didn't have time to do the back office stuff. We didn't have time to do disclosures and get our underwriters trained uh -huh. and all that kind of stuff. But now we have the time. So obviously we're going to offer as much as we possibly can uh, within reason um, to be able to have our branch managers, our loan officers uh, succeed. How important is it to y'all in the main office there to like give real yeses and real no's? A hundred percent. Like, yeah. you know, and, and I always say, I'm going to be your best friend for three to six months. So I'm not <laughs> going to blow smoke. You know what I mean? Like really yeah. and truly, because you're going to, you know, when you're at the corporate visit and you're kicking tires or whatever you want to call it, I'm not going to tell you anything that's not true because when you're here in three months and I'm your best friend, I'm not going to say, oh, I really wasn't truthful about that. Or I kind of, you know, sugarcoated that when it's really not that way. So we don't want you to, like I said, we want you to stay long term. We want you to retire here. And you can't do that unless you're giving actual answers that are legit. You just yeah. can't um, because A, you're going to lose trust. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a bad fit for them. It's going to be a bad fit for us. And it's just going to cause a lot more problems than it's worth. So our goal is to not get as many branches in as we can possibly get in because we can, you know, I can show, oh, I've brought this many branches in and my right. numbers are pretty. It's really to make, bring successful branches in where it's really is a good fit, same kind of mindset, like minds and be able to actually have, you know, a future with a company and, you know, ultimately retire here. Because yeah. you'll see, um, we see it all the time. You'll see a branch that you think, I oh, mean, you know, they're pretty good. They've got good numbers, et cetera, and so forth. And they've been to 10 companies because it's listed on the NMLS, right? Yeah. And you'll see them, they've been at 10 companies in the last seven years. And you're like, whoa, okay, red flag, red flag. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes it is a red flag, let's be honest. But sometimes you start talking to them and they've been sold so many untruths or maybe fluffed truths or whatever you want to call them that that's, ultimately the reason why they're doing it because they'll tell them anything to get in the door and then 
you know, bait and switch and the whole nine yards. And it just, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's a lot of energy and time and money that goes into bringing a branch on. And I don't want to do that just to have them leave in three months because you weren't truthful. Right. Y'all aren't doing the infrastructure to do like bringing on branch volume. Y'all are doing the infrastructure to get good loans. That's exactly. And have an actual lifetime. branch that we're proud of and that's doing well, then it's happy and can be a good testimony. And we're all here for a common goal is to get some loan flows and put some, you know, borrowers and beautiful homes. You know what I mean? So that's, that's, that's the goal. Yeah. We're here to put borrowers in homes. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. Make dreams come true. You know, if you want to be as corny as that, but it really is true. Yeah.